All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vion at this hour with the world's most powerful telescope. It started its million mile voyage. It's a hundred times more powerful than the Hubble and also a hundred times more risky. The NASA, of course, is pretty happy with the launch and the first part of the mission, which had been delayed for several years, has actually indeed taken off. Now, the Ariane 5 rocket lifted off from the northeast coast of South America and has successfully placed itself into the orbit. Decollage, lift off from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Punching a hole through the clouds, 20 seconds into the flight, good pitch program reported. Now remember, this, this of course has been a part that's very crucial to the mission's economic plans of saving fuel. NASA, along with European and Canadian space agencies, is a part of the mission. We have confirmation of solid rocket booster separation from Jean-Luc Voyer. This coming at an altitude of 44 miles. Control center to Raphael Chevrier of Ariane Spas. Raphael, so far so good. Hi, Rob. So far so good. Everything is nominal. You all have just been incredible. And over three decades, you produced this telescope that is now going to take us back in time. It's a time machine. It's going to take us back to the very beginnings of the universe. Uh, we are going to discover incredible things that we never imagined. And isn't that typical of this team where the impossible comes possible? Now, the rocket underwent a 27 hypersonic ride into space before the 14,000 pound telescope was released from the upper stage of the rocket at about 1,400 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Officials confirmed that as soon as the Webb's solar energy array was deployed, its power supply was up and running as was expected. Now, it is expected to gradually unfurl itself, unfold itself, almost like an origami setup. And it is likely to become the size of a tennis court over the course of the next 13 days as it sails onward on its own. Now, Webb's special orbital path will be kept in constant alignment with the Earth as the planet and the telescope circle the sun in tandem. And Raphael Chevrier down in the fishbowl. So far, so good. Yes, Rob, we have the confirmation of the separation of the main stage and the ignition the of the upper stage. The trajectory is perfectly nominal. This is a very important moment for us because it's... Uh, you, uh, the launch is of the order 80% of the risk uh, uh, in, a, in a mission. I would say kind of by our analysis, but kind of by, by, by various ways of assessing that, I uh, hear it may be 20% of the risk of the mission, perhaps 30 uh, I don't know. And so basically what is ahead, we have retired a number, quite some risk, but uh, what is ahead uh, uh, remains a risk that we're going to take down step by step. Well, the astronomers have said that the James Webb Telescope will bring into view a glimpse of the cosmos that's never been seen before, that would date back to as much as about 100 million years, just after the Big Bang, which is said to explain as to how the universe could have begun. The telescope is expected to take a month to reach its remote destination. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.